Welcome to Good Spirit Graphics. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at MochaBlend's advanced alignment tools. Okay, let's get started. This tutorial contains the following sections. Aligning the camera rig to objects. Aligning tracked motion to an object. Using the motion to floor button. And using the rig to floor button. In an earlier tutorial, I showed you how to align MogulBlend's rig here to your Cinema 4D world. Let's briefly recap that before we move on to MogulBlend's align tools here. You can set your rig to either a Y-up or Z-up configuration, and with each of those configurations, you can set the world center to various parts of your rig. Here the lower left, as shown in the diagram, here to the center of your rig, and also to the center bottom of your rig. We can also do the same thing with a Z-Up configuration. And we can also set the rig scale to match what you're working with in your world. Frequently, you'll need to align your rig to objects in your Cinema 4D world. For that, you're going to need to use MochaBlend's Align Tools here. Let's go ahead and turn on the visibility for our cube I created. You'll see if we select that cube, we can store that transform of the cube by clicking on this button here. Then to align our rig to it, all we do is click on Align Rig. Now Align Rig simultaneously uses the Align Position and Align Rotation functions. So if you want to do just one, just press one or the other. Now sometimes you'll need to align your rig to a part of an object. For that, let's go ahead and click on Point Edit Mode. And with a single point or vertex selected here, Let's go ahead and click on Store Transform, and then once again, we'll click on Align Rig. Now you see our rig has been aligned to that particular point. We can also align our rig to edges of an object by selecting an edge, clicking on Store Transform, and then Align Rig. The third option is to align to a face of an object. Again, we can store the transform and align our rig there. Now let's turn on the visibility of our camera so you can see how our rig is actually aligned. If we go back to point edit mode and select that point, store the transform and align our rig, you'll see our rig aligns to that point with a certain orientation. That orientation is set by the direction you're looking in your viewport. If you look in this direction and click on Align Rig, MocoBlend is going to assume that you're looking this direction and that's the way you want your rig aligned. If you don't like the way MocoBlend has chosen, you can also go ahead and click on Flip Direction and move your rig to the opposite orientation. Now if you want to move your rig back a little bit and keep this orientation, just grab its axis, move it straight back, and if we move into Camera View here, you'll see we can then adjust the bank angle of our rig by moving this little slider right here. In the 3D view, you can see what that's doing. You can also use the Align tools to align your camera rig to multiple objects. In this case, let's select both of these cubes and go ahead and click on Store Transform and then Align Position. You'll see MogulBlend has aligned the rig to the average of the origins of the two objects. If we click on each object separately, you'll see the origin is at the bottom center of the cubes. Mokoblen can also align itself to multiple subparts on different objects. You do that by clicking on both objects, going into the edit mode that you want here. We'll select these two edges, store transform, and then once again, align rig. Now MogulBlend has aligned itself to the location average of those two edges. Now sometimes you don't want to align your rig to a particular object. You want to align your rig data. Let me show you the difference. Let's go ahead and select the head of this figure. We'll go ahead and zoom in on it a little bit and go into face select mode. If we select a face, and store that transform, 
and then click on Align Rig, you'll see Muggle Blend has aligned the rig so the face is sitting right on the plane of the rig, not just the location, but also the rotation. Now if we want to move our rig back from this position, we can select our rig in Object Mode here, grab its C-axis, and move it straight back. Now, if we have some data that we actually want to align to that point, what we can do is create that data and then set the frame where you want the data to be right on that point. We'll select the first frame for this example and then once again, just select Align Rig. Now you'll see if we zoom in that MochaBlend has placed that rig data oriented exactly on that point. Let's go ahead and also select the head and go into face mode and you can see more clearly. Now the data for that particular frame is aligned perfectly with that face. At that point you could manipulate it by attaching the transform to that particular object. Frequently when you track something in Mocha and convert it to 3D motion using Mocha Blend in Cinema 4D, you'll find that that motion lies roughly in a plane. Oftentimes you'll want to align that motion to the Cinema 4D world for various simulations or for gravity. To do that, we simply click on Motion to Floor. When you do that, MochaBlend will analyze that data so it can align the rig and place it right on the world floor. There are two settings for this. On the Align tab, you have Fast and Accurate, both do a great job, but for more complex motion, sometimes you'll need to switch to accurate. Finally, let's take a look at MochaBlend's Rig to Floor button. Pressing this will adjust the Rig Z translation, so any child objects will be placed right on the Cinema 4D ground plane. Let's go ahead and press it and see what happens. There you go, you see we have a cube here that is a child of the rig, and the Z translation has been adjusted without changing the rotation of the rig, so that child is placed right on the ground plane. If this object has been animated, then MochaBlend will take that animation into account when it aligns the rig. Let's go ahead and apply some tracking data to this cube, and you'll see if we click on Rig to Floor again, MochaBlend will adjust the rig so the lowest point in the tracking data is aligned at the rig floor. So no matter what frame you switch to, rig to floor will always do the same thing.